Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. Three. A carefully drawn diagram of Moonrise Towers, a circle of red ink, draws your attention, as though something has been stashed in the tower's recent dungeon. Someone's marked a spot at the base of Moonrise Towers. Worth a look here, but you've got to be kidding me. We just got out of there. What a day. Please, you take those. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Okay. Most of them is useless for me. Wait. Yeah. Figured. Um Looking ahead. If I remember correctly, we only have one more. Yep, one more quick short rest. Um And after that, we'll have to take a long, nice rest again. Lately, they've we've been resting a lot, like what now? long rests. I mean, the day has been coming. Mutilate them. Day, day has been going. Yeah. Quicker. Hmm. I wonder what this elevator is for if we cannot use it. Back home will never believe this. Should mind my step. Wait, did I hide it? Yep, I hid it. Wait, we need to go over here. We need to go upstairs. Or around. Doesn't matter to me. Hmm? Scroll, scroll. This tools up. I'll give it a shot. Wait. Or just so a shot? Progress. No, never mind. Okay, let's save. I'm trying to not. Kid? Nothing. Have a word. <gasps> no. Hey, I know you. You're twist him up. <laughs> Arabella, kid from the Druids Grove. That snake woman nearly did her in. Looks like she's learned a thing or two. Sorry, it knocks the wind right out of me. Why the purple spell? But there's a great story behind you learning it. That Druid idol I took? It changed me. I can do all sorts of stuff now, not just the vines. I think real hard and say some loud words, and then it happens. Mostly. Hmm. What are you doing out here? It's unsafe. I was looking for Mum and Pops. When Zevlor... When he... Well... There was an ambush. Mum yelled, run! So we ran. I could hear him running behind me. Till I couldn't. Still can't find him, but I bet you can. You'll help me, I just know it. I'll find them. Thanks, miss. I knew you'd help me again. The vines won't last forever. I don't... I don't suppose I can stay with you. Just till you find Mum and Pops. 
I won't be any trouble, I swear it. You can stay in my camp. Oh, thanks. You're the best. So you send Mum and Pops there. I'll be waiting, hero lady. I was worried that she's gonna join our party. I was really worried about that. Um, Careful. Anyone has a potion to spare? Is that blood? No. Mm -hmm. And where oh, I need to get there? Ledger, disciple. Oh, that's a hidden treasure. We have no information on where the. So the House of Healing is a cathedral. I heard someone. Keep your distance, darling. Actually, swift as my feet can carry me. I'm fairly sure we can open the window or not. For you. Steps. Of course, it's Let's locked. Crack it open. How much? Ten. Hmm. Let's get going. I'll have to make. Very well. Ooh, under chesty. <sighs> I'll need to organize equipment Open once again. There's no way down from here? Wait, oh there's the door. Let's see what this does. You. You open the door. <laughs> At least things have stayed interesting. Let's be on my way. <sighs> I swear. It. You guys are something else. I for keep forgetting about the cars. Never mind them. Still breathing. This and is okay. Turn the base. Looks like a pouch, maybe some alchemical stuff. Ooh. Don't waste a step. 
if there will be only this one, I, will, I wouldn't mind leaving it, but... Book of Poetry. <clears throat> I hold my breath for the sun to fall, for in the hot collapse of day I'm brought to you. While wait wind sleeps the world and tire is ours, the grass our bed, the dew our silver candles. The moon and stars are private cannot be, and you the brightest of them all. My light, my heart, my world. I would watch the stars with you to the end of time, but night forever arches into day, and the sleepy, nothing of the sunlit hours will matter on. So instead I shall find eternity in a moment, and by the glance of moonbeams in your eyes will I be brought to rest, as the rest should be, enduring, still, longing for naught but itself. Oh. Potion of invisibility and bow. <laughs> we already have a bow. Thank you very much. We can go down here. House of Healing Staff Pool rules. Foreign body must be lodged in reducted cavity. Once a guess is made, it may not be made again. Minimum bet one gold piece. Little and chicken eggs in the wine boot. Hmm. Memorandum to all Erythrean House of Healing Medical Personnel from Malus Storm, Head Surgeon. It has come to my attention that our so-called caregivers are wasting precious anesthetic resources on the elderly and the mortally wounded. Nurse Lidwin informs me this practice eases the suffering of the feeble and guides them to our, la our lady's final embrace. Never have I heard such ob abject nonsense. Anesthetic is a tool to relieve my ears of my subject's screams as I apply the blade, not a mercy to be freely dispersed to living corpses. So has safe shark. Only in the affirmed suffering may we forget our own. The next to ignore this missive, missive will fill my scalpel without sedative. I will simply have to endure the shrieks. Hello. Here to see the doctor? Are we poorly? Are we desperately poorly? Oh, not so well. But well enough to wait. Join the line, and you will be seen. Mm, okay, I'll get in line. Be patient, be well. Here to see the doctor? Are we poorly? Oh, not so well. But well enough to wait. Join the line. I don't have time to wait. I need to see the doctor right now. Yes, yes. But all must wait. The doctor's hands are full. Join the line. You will be seen. I'm no patient. You certainly heard I have the steadiest hand of this side of Faerun. You get my inspiration. Which is cursed! <laughs> oh, an answer to our prayers! Down to the theatre. Be swift, be saved. Thank you. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Can't slow down. Uh, 
Uh, dear Monsieur or Madame, we have reached dire times in the way when war has come. Do you not teach that it is our duty to mend all who break, convert all who ail, without regard for the gods they worship or the champions they heed? Yet a certain maelstrom abides by his own creed. The will of Shar, he might say, and I dare not argue with him or any Torm. He all allows supplies to dwindle, leaves some patience injuries to fester so he may study, and commands me to nurse only dark justitiars that seek treatment. I beg you, sir or madame, please deliver us aid, so I might close every tear and cleanse every wound, uh, even those of harpers and solonites. We will humbly accept all you can offer, potions, herbs, satures, even clerics. Help us heal. We've got to juice and now lead win. I think I would rather check at this this level first. Your eyes are sharp, sisters. Tend to your scalpel so that I may say the same of them. Okay, so is there a way to kill him with use of the environment? Okay, this is where it brings us. I'm fairly sure we heard that. Hmm. So this is a way out? Yes. This is a way out. Where does that lead? So we are going against the crazy doctor, I assume. Allow me to save. And I need to prepare. Can I throw it to them? Should have spoken to them first, but somehow I don't feel like they would be very eager to talk with us. Let's go. I forgot to change her weapon again. an action right yeah. how much five to thirty One more turn. No. 
I can try killing this one. Kill yourself, please. that he does not have that much strength to use this to this kind of flesh must be flayed the next instrument sister sovereign of shit blood has pooled in the brain i must open the cranium okay first things first both hand wait is she alive They're never alive. He will probably die in a moment. Damn it. Mm, oh. Great. I want you to stand over here. So I have to run. This can't be the end. The master surgeon's will is my own. Luckily, you are disengaged. Have to... All right, I took it from you. Just heal yourself. Still, yourself. The saw's teeth will open the way for a shadow. Yes, great. That's fantastic. That is really great. Run. He really hates Astarion. <laughs>
Mm, this is basically the only thing I can do. Remember that I'm also healing myself. That's really what I why I'm doing that. Uh, disengage. You have to kill her. Soldier. Mm, and heal yourself. No time to waste. Just keep on running. Counter spell. Apply. Not so much. God, it's hot in here. Uh, hit her. someone to keep killing those sisters. I want you uh, I don't remember which one it was. I want you to run away. But the other direction. Right, the shadow curse. Sometimes can you cast that? This weapon is already covered in something. Another day, another fight. Can you get up there? These boots have seen everything. Not enough space, okay. Let's cut with fire, baby. Incoming. Get closer. 
Um, your attack control is fixed, sticky weapon that possibly envelop your target, okay. Wait, is that... Again. This is his only action that he's doing right now, so... I don't mind. I understand that this is cheap tactic, but... Worth the cost. I don't care. <laughs> God damn it. The hammer's gonna fall. No holding back. Okay. He's seriously gonna do that. Standing. I can never tell that she is still standing, really. Okay, shove him again. <laughs> now, watch closely. Will Astarion kill the nurse? Eleven. He did not kill the nurse. So now Evna shoots the nurse. Great. So now Carla can deal do double hit. Can try hit him twice. Been a mistake. It was a mistake. Okay, so for some reason he just wasn't moving over there. Oh, let's see. He always hits nine. Reach. In Benny and Leah. Um, back. For another round. Um, right. You should, you should have no problem killing her. Great. Maybe it will be better if we just stand here and shoot. Okay, so now Evna helps. Need to find a way forward. So now Evna helps. Ah, 
Oh no, his spell ended. I have no idea what's happening, I don't care. Apparently we quite quickly found the, the way to make him busy. Okay, but I need to change one thing for him, your reactions. Uh, when you make a successful out of against four, you can change that hit. I I can change that into a critical hit. I should think about that. Because for me, I, it was just like, do you want to reroll or not? There's no really need for us to change that. Oh sure. You I won't hit critically. Okay. Let's go. Oof. Let's have a look. Certain subjugation amulet. Paralysis is critical. Once per long rest, when scoring a critical hit on a humanoid, the wearer can paralyze the target for two turns. Battle loot. Quest item. Divine Bone Shard, Hastings Spores, Wood Bark, Supply Pack, and Key. And a key. I'm done. I can't wait to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Can anyone heal? Oh, I could go for a good meal. Wait, do we have any potions? The pride of the gate. Okay, I'll uh, make some. Not, not coatings. No potions. I'm sorry. Poisoner's gloves. Whenever you do poison damage, the target needs to succeed a constitution saving throw or become poisoned. Every page of this medical text is crisp and unblemished, and every quill struck precise. Sharon aphorisms and general philosophies accompany the explicit diagrams and surgical guidelines. Only with sacrifice is mastery gained. So has Our Lady said, and so I say to you, dearest reader. The darkness is infinite, but the master's teachings are not. 
When his wisdom is exhausted and his pupils fully versed, there shall come time for one final lesson. He will become the subject fully laid bare for his students to consult, examine and dis dissect. The sisters shall one day know me, first in whole, last in part. Only then will they be masters. Okay, do I need to open these? Yes, these, open these ones, please. A crooked touch. I've got a long road ahead. That's safe. Before something bad happens. Our hero thought but of treasure ahead, did not consider the peace of the dead. Through the dark she went creeping, and awoke what was sleeping. A new grave they dug, which she herself fed. Ooh, spooky! I love Karlok's reactions, they are priceless. How long have you been standing around practicing that fritto recital? Until it was perfect. I've grown quite fond of you, you know, in my way. I thought it only fair to warn you about the dangers ahead. What dangers are those? Oh, <laughs> we both know they are soon to be revealed. It would be pointless of me to try to buy you from entering. But I can set the scene, as it were. Prepare you for your role. How do you know? Fine, paint me a picture. There is a stage down in the dark upon which a great drama has suspended itself in time. Its actors dwell there still, mired in the languor of their long, tired scenes. If you, however, through the dark, go creeping and awake what is sleeping, chances are many more graves than yours alone will soon be fed. Paint me a clearer picture than that. Very well. There is a creature that lurks in silence and shadow. A creature who, like me, is very much of the Inferno persuasion. Should it make its way out through the very doors you are about to brazenly swing open, you'll have unleashed a pestilence upon this realm. In truth, it is carnage incarnate. So if you meet the devil of which I speak, kill it. Consider no other course of action. You're still only telling me half of what you really know, I can tell. This creature and I go back a long way. I admit it would be in my best interest as well should it remain trapped in the dark. Or... This place its head, perhaps? What are we talking here? Lemia? Pit fiend? Orthon? Getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. You're afraid of this creature, Raphael. Listen here, Pipsqueak. Do not underestimate this opponent. At best, you will have the blink of an eye to strike. Strike first, strike true, defy the odds, for they are distinctly in its favor. That much I owe the bastard to concede. <laughs> and don't think I've forgotten your tale, Astarian. When the beast is dead, I'll consider that payment enough to translate those scars of yours. A fairer deal, 
than I expected. You wound me, Spawn. I always deal fairly, and will close this particular deal soon enough. Vanquish the beast, and all will be revealed. Yeah, we're not going into mausoleum right now. Okay, ah, so this is how we can go on to the uh, House of Healing Roof. And I, th I think it will be, it's a fairly good place to camp. Best as any. I should speak up. Gail? Good evening. I'm here on behalf of Gail of Waterdeep. He wishes to extend you an invitation for a private conversation in a more suitable locale. On behalf of Gail, you're, you're not Gail? You are speaking to a mere projection of Gail. His appearance, his voice, and a certain measure of his personality, reconstituted in this case to play as emissary and usher. Would you care to join him? What little I could glean from the portion of his mind that is open to me, it is a matter most urgent. Okay, okay, give me a moment. Very well, show me the way. Gladly. Simply follow yonder path and soon you will find him. Give me a moment. I need to select rations first. Uh... Wait, what? Oh, okay. I love this time of night. There's an almost reverent silence that accompanies the peak of darkness when you'd almost believe the dawn will never break. The cradle of eternity. The timelessness of lovers. That most beautiful of fantasies. I will be. Soon. I am perhaps just one hard day away from being without any troubles at all. This may be my last night alive. I wanted it to be under a canopy of beauty and wonder. And with company to match. I thought this place might bring me peace. I thought it might make the weight of what I must do feel a little lighter. But I'm not so sure. Is this truly what you want? To die for the promise of Mistress Forgiveness? Babe or crone, coward or hero, death is assured. Mistress Forgiveness is not. If you knew the end was near, would you not want to ensure it had meaning? I am terrified. I will not claim otherwise. My face could scarcely conceal it, even if my words sought to deny it. There is no point in running from the inevitable. Better to meet it on my own terms. You sound sure in your course of action, then. Resign to it, rather. But that is not to say I am without 
fear. Far from it. Stay with me a while, will you? Day will come all too soon, even in this place. I'm not going anywhere. One moment with you could sate me for a lifetime and prize the fear from my heart. I'm so very glad you came to share this with me. I know this is all unreal, but I created it for you. You must know that you're, you're very special to me. If things were different, if we were home, I'd have taken time to do things properly, to say it all better. But time is short. I'm in love with you. I hope that wasn't a parting kiss. Not if I have any say in the matter. I want it to be perfect. To bond with you in the way the gods do. Intertwining our spirits in visions of the weave. Show me. How about the perfect night in Waterdeep? Yes? Let's imagine how it would be. The scene is this. You and I stand in the room that is the center of my universe. The sculptures, the paintings, the walls enlivened by the spines of a thousand books. The grand piano plays the Lyrian suites all by itself and as we look out beyond the arches that lead to the terrace, we see the weary sun take its daily dive into the sea. favorite spot many times evening turned to night and back to daybreak once more while I sat here lost in words that's your perfect it seems lonely on the contrary no one is lonely when they have books except perhaps the illiterate this one here is called The Art of the Night. It details the first thousand nights of a newlywed king and queen. They turned everything they did into an art. The art of conversation, the art of taste, time honored and newly acquired. The art of the body, the exploration and acceptance of the self and the other. The art of the night itself. I say we take a page from their book. Leave it to you to set the someone with a book. Then let's set the book aside and be blank slates on blank sheets. Delightfully new. What do you say? I think that sounds delightful. The stars will be our bed. Come here. Why confine ourselves to the pleasures of mortal flesh? There's but one stitch in a vast tapestry. 
Let me show you more. Show me. When you wake, it will be back at our camp. Back in our small, dirty, bloody patch of existence. But stay with me now. There are endless worlds out there. Countless ways to declare love. Infinite ways to express it. Too much for one night. But we shall try. That was some body horror level shit. Oh my goodness. That was horrifying. And because of that I'm gonna end this part here. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!